ticks and fever and lameness. Oh my. I live in central Pennsylvania where we are number one in the United States for not one, but two tick-borne diseases. As such, I have a variety of cases to share with you that highlight some of the typical and not so typical presentations of acute anaplasmosis. I'll share with you key laboratory findings to aid in the diagnosis of infection with anaplasma phagocytophilum in your patients. We will also discuss the importance of and limitations of rapid ELISA testing in both the detection and diagnosis of tick-borne disease, as well as tricks of the trade to confidently identify rickettsial morula on stained blood film review. So please join me for diagnosing acute anaplasmosis through the in-clinic laboratory. We'll have fun reviewing real cases together and honing your diagnostic acumen so you don't miss your next case of acute anaplasmosis. I hope to see you online.